How do you say her book and his book and their book? What does it have? It all is talking about someone who is not here, right? Or someone like you're saying third person. You know third person in English? That's fine. You don't need to know it. You're saying you're talking about the book belonging to someone else, not yours, not someone whom you're talking to, but it belongs to someone else. Okay. So whenever you have position, when you're trying to add position to things that are or to people that are not there. Okay. Like he and his and her and theirs. There's a common sound there too. What's the sound? Ha. So you say kita buhu. What is kita buhu? Yeah. His book. His book. And kita buha. Kita buha is ha again. Someone her book. Her book. And kita buhum. Their, um, their book, yeah, Kitabuhum, yeah, Kitabuhum. Okay, so what's the sound for he or his? His. What, um, what's the sound? I want you to get used his, to the sounds, not memorize things. Her. And her. He. Also has ha sound. Ha. And he, their. Whom, and who, their whom. Ha. Who. Ha and whom. Ha, whom and he. Right? It has a ha sound for her, uh, his, her and theirs. Hey, and for, I'm, okay? I know my homework. Okay. I have to choose one of these words and make one sentence with each because we have over five. Yeah, we have to do more than that. I'm going to give more homework because you have a weekend coming. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we learned, basically we learned how to add uh, position to things or people. When you want to say my, my book, you say kitabi. Your book, kitabuka. And your book for girl, kitabuki. And you all people's book, kitabukum. And when you want to say about his book, kitabuku. Ka and kum. 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 Yeah. And ha and who and whom. See, all of them have her sound. Wait, ki, kosa, ka, fatta, and kum. Uh, Dhamma. Dhamma. Yeah, I didn't, didn't notice that. Mashallah, very really good. Okay? Now, we're going to go over uh, all the nouns that Abdullah learned. And I'm going to say in English, and he's going to actually translate that to uh, in Arabic. Okay? Uh, Karim. What is Karim? Karim boat. My boat. Karim. His boat. Karim. Karim Bubu. Karim Bubu. Uh, your boat. Karim. Karim. Buka. Karim Buka. Your for your boat for a girl. How do you say your boat for a girl? Karibi. Karibu. Karibu. Ki. See, so when you're talking to friends, Karibu ki. Karibu ki. Okay. And I'll give you a tough one. Bata. Okay. Bata. We will do that next next week or next class, inshallah. Okay. Uh, let's only. Bata tun. It's there's a bata tun. So there's, we don't add tanwin, so we, we say battati. Battati. Yeah. And your your da battatuka. Battatuka. Yeah. Battatuki. Battatukum. With a meme. With a meme. Okay. Battatukum. Yeah. Very good. Mashallah. Okay. Ba. Let's say ba. His door. Babi, bab. Babu. Always babu use Dhamma before you adding babu for now. Babu who? Babu who? My door. Babi. His, uh, her door. Babi who? Her door? 
Babi. Babu. Babu. Bihu. Babu. Ha. Babu. Ha. Babu. Ha. Always. But now, uh, because of grammar rules, sometimes it can be kasra, dama, or fatha on bab. But right now, it's always on these words. Try to put dama at the end. Babu. Like that. Okay. Babu. Hu. Babu. Ha. Babu. Ka. Babu. Ki. Babu. Kum. Okay. Did you get it? Okay. Jilbab. That's a good one. My Jilbab. My Jilbab. Jilbab is a good one, but my Jilbab, what do you say? Jilbab. Jilbab. Don't. When you are adding. Jilbabi. Yeah, you can remove that mean when you are adding. Okay? Just add. Jilbab. Jilbab. And how do you say your Jilbab? Jilbab. Yours. Yours. Jilbab. One person. You're good, very good. Yeah. One, one, one person has kafatha, jilbabuka. Jilbabuka. Yeah. Okay. And for girl, jilbabu. Jilbabuka. Jilbabuka. For girl. Ha. Jilbabu ki. Ki. Yeah. Jilbabuka. His. Jilbab. That's it. Jilbabuka. That's yours. Jilbabu. That's yours. What what is for his? I mean in English it sounds like Jilbabu who? Jilbabu who? Yeah, see even in English you say his. Who? Jilbabu who? Her. What's it that? Jilbab. No, you said yours. Wait, what is our Jilbab? What do you think? Let me get it. Let me give you a chance. I told you to get used to the sounds, right? In Arabic you have to pay attention to the sounds. What do you think is for our jilbab? Jilbab. Uh, very good. How do you? Yeah. What is the sound? What is the sound for us? Un. Noon, right? Noon. Yeah. Jilbabuna. Jilbabuna. See, they all say. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Jilbabuna. I'm going to add because you asked. Kitabuna. Kitabuna. Okay. You understand now? Actually, we learned quite a few things now. So, in fact, we can actually read some small books now. Now that we learned this. Yeah. So, you, I want you to make, pick five nouns. Five nouns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any in the five nouns. And I want you to make all eight of them. Like, kitabi, kitabuka, kitabuki, kitabuhu, kitabuha, kitabu, uh, hum. And kitabuna. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight choices. And five nouns and eight choices. Things. Yeah. Uh, so you're ready? You know what your homework is? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye guys. Leave a like down below.